All right, YouTube land. Here's what we're going to do today. Um, I've had some other videos on exhaust and tuning and, and things like that around the 2020 Triumph Street Triple RS. This is the new Euro 5 version, and the problem's been that you haven't been able to tune it. Um, there's been some limitations because of the Euro 5 regs. Um, I've had the ECU kind of locked down and, and can't disable ABS. Even when you're in track mode, you can reduce it, but you can't really get rid of it. And So some other things I figured, all right, you know what? It's a, another shitty rainy day here in Atlanta, although this weekend's supposed to be spectacular. And uh, they dropped the new base map for this, so now you can actually flash it. I've already done it once. So what I'm going to do is some people had asked on the, one of the Triumph pages on Facebook, like, hey, could you make a video and show us how to do this real quick? So I figured, why not? So um, now that we can do this, you can do a full tune, which I plan to do at some point, whether I keep that pipe or remove the cat or get another pipe or whatever. But So here's what you got to do. First of all, go to Tune ECU's website and get an ODB link. There's the a specific model numbers. Uh, let's see. This one, hopefully that zooms in enough. You can see what that model is. Get it from Amazon, like 40 bucks. Um, and what you want to do is, first of all, take off your rear seat or cowl and, and your front seat. If you don't know how to do that, you probably should not be um, going in and flashing your ECU. We'll talk about some of the dangers of doing this in a moment. Uh, but you need to have some basic skills and understand you'd also need an Android phone. can't do it from the Windows software. Um, that only works on some. You have to use Bluetooth. You have to use an Android phone. If you're using an uh, uh, iPhone, Go on Amazon and buy a cheap, you know, blue or one of those uh, cheap, um, you know, $80 Android phones that are, you know, unlocked. Spend 70, 80 bucks just to get a basic Android phone so you can go ahead and do this. What you want to do is the first time is you'll push the little button here on the corner to put it into pairing mode and then pair it from your phone. I'm not going to go through how to do it and pair it on the phone because mine already is. And also you might have a different phone and it won't look exactly the same. But again, you want to make sure you have those basic skills to do that. And if you don't, this is, might not be something that you want to do. You might want to have uh, someone else do it. But get to this diagnostic plug that normally sits right there. Plugged in. It's not really plugged in. It's just kind of a tab, a plastic tab to hold it there. Unplug that. Put your ODB link in there. Put it in pairing mode. Pair it from your phone. So what I'm going to do now is unlock my phone. And try to do everything with one freaking hand. Let's do that. And let's go to Tune ECU. And so the first thing you want to do is find your key wherever you left it like I did right there. Turn on the ignition, go into Tune ECU, and the first time you do this, you want to go to Select, and you want to pick Triumph, Kyan, Kian, however you pronounce it, and then go ahead and hit Connect. And watch this bottom corner here, there's a flashing blue light, it should go to yellow, maybe red, it'll bounce around, and what it should do is start flashing green. That means you are connected to the ECU. You can check that, and you can scroll left and right through fuel tables. There's your trim tables if you've got it on the dyno and you want to tune it. Um, we'll go through what some of these screens are real quick in a minute. But go scroll right till you get to this one. And then go to your throttle and turn it. And you should see that throttle go from 0 to 100. And if you see that, and that everything's working fine. You can scroll over and it gives you some additional things. I think that's what you use. That's the pr air pressure. So if you're going like, to uh, sink the throttle bodies and stuff. And then you go over here and you can see different sensors. You can see all the data in real time. You can go to sensors and select list, and that'll let you go and turn on and off what sensors you want to see in real time. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up your map. So there's map 31044, which is the US and Canada map. And there's 31043, which is all other regions, unless specified. Um, if you are in a region, and have, but those are the only other ones that are posted right now. So what you want to then do is come here and open up a map, and you'll want to open up 31044. Now what I've done is I took that map, and I created a different, a slightly different map. So I'm going to pull up that map. No. Okay, because it's telling me I've already got that map open. All right, in any case. So what I did was I took the base map of 31044, I went to Maps, went to Parameters, and I increased the rev limit from 12.6 or 12.550 or whatever out to 12,800. Give me a little more revs. Hit OK. Here are your fuel tables. We're not going to go into how to tune this bike. If you're going to tune this, you probably already know how to do this. 
or you're going to take it to a dyno tuner who knows tune ECO and knows how to do that. But these are all your throttle tables. There's your RPMs. There's your throttle positions. And there's the fuel cells. Uh, in each cell is how much gas it's given it. Um, similar to a power commander or rapid bike. There's fuel table two. You see F2 on the bottom. That's for cylinder two. There's fuel table for cylinder three. I don't remember what the L tables are for. You've got your ignition for first gear, your ignition map for second gear, ignition for three to six are all the same, ignition for neutral. ETV is your throttle positions. So you've got engine modes. You have rain, you have road and street. And even though you've also got track modes and user and stuff, you only have three engine modes to pick from. So what this is doing is saying based on RPMs, based on throttle position, when you give it what, how much throttle, here's how much the engine's actually going to deliver. And you can see in rain mode down low, where the bike's not making a ton of power, it will give you full throttle. But once you start getting up around 8,000, that's where the motor really starts to come alive. It's actually pulling power back and it's closing the throttle of the butterflies um, and it's actually reducing fuel and it's, it's going to only give you 60% power. Um, and that'll help keep you out of trouble in the rain. There's your road mode. There's your, 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 whatchamacallit, your sport mode where you give it 100%, it gives you 100% every time. And here's the air fuel tables. So the first thing I did was extended the rev range. The second thing I did was I changed this mid-range here where you're just kind of cruising along, not under much engine load, not under really high throttle yet. Um, it was set for 14.5 air fuel ratio to be nice and lean for emissions and fuel economy. I just bumped it down to 1400 to richen it up a little bit. The one thing you cannot do yet is under parameters, there's normally a devices button here, which exists on these other bikes, um, where you can go in and turn off O2 sensors and disable SAI. Can't do that yet. So when you tune, you're not going to be able to tune a lot around here. What you can do is set maybe that AF air fuel ratio to like 13.5 or something richer, and it'll get you in the ballpark through the bikes trying to correct and reach these targets. But then out here, this is called the closed loop section where the emissions are typically tested and you really can't do much tuning. But up here, you can. So when you go into your fuel tables with a tuner, you can actually tune and get full power, and it won't try to correct it. So... We'll maybe get into more on that in another video. This is about how to flash the ECU. So these are the changes I made, basically. I went and changed that a little bit, and I extended the fuel uh, or the uh, rev range out a little bit. So we did the same thing on that when we put a cam in it and exhaust and stuff, and that actually was dyno mapped. That one hasn't been, didn't need it. The bobber on the end um, was able um, to get that tuned courtesy of uh, DNK TuneWorks. Um, she's got a lot of cool maps um, for a lot of setups. So if you don't have access to a dyno, you don't want to invest in a power commander and stuff, hit up DNK TuneWorks and uh, see what kind of map she's got that you can buy from her. And um, that woke that bike up, that Bobber 1200 that my wife rides, um, really opened it up. That was holding power back in a couple gears where you'd give it full throttle, but it wouldn't give you full throttle like you twist the grip and it would only give you up to a certain amount past a certain revs that has been unlocked and that thing is a hoot in a straight line now um still doesn't corner because it's got no ground clearance but a lot more fun that instantly transformed that bike so hit up uh dnk tune works if you need a tune for that so back here you know if you have access to a dyno tuner who knows tune ecu they're going to come into these tables and they're going to throw it on the dyno and what they're going to do is go over, they can go into the individual cells. Or what they'll probably do is just go over to the trims and run it on the dyno, see where the air fuel ratio is, figure out what air fuel ratio the thing makes the most power. And they'll make their adjustments here. And then they'll go to uh, table. Um, I forget one of it. Once you make some changes, you basically, um, you can apply those trims. It's not, it's grayed out because there's no changes made. But you apply those trims, and what it will do is take the values, the adding or subtracting of fuel at different RPMs and position, uh, throttle positions. It'll apply them to the uh, individual cylinders' fuel mappings, and that's how you would tune this. And then you would push that to the bike, which brings us up to the next point. How do you push the map? So let's just say you took my map or you took your own map, opened up 31044 or 31043. You extended the rev limiter, maybe made the same air fuel ratio changes because you've got a stock pipe or an arrow and it doesn't really need a full tune yet. You can go in and make those changes, and then what you want to do is go to ECU and hit reprogram. What that will do is that will then start up a 15-minute session where it will push through Bluetooth and push that new map. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Make sure your battery's charged. They recommend unplugging the headlights. I don't do that. 
I have it plugged into a battery tender. So I've already waited till it's fully charged. I've got a green down there. Um, and it'll trickle charge if the voltage starts to drop, the battery charger will kick in and keep the battery topped off. You want to be very careful when you flash an ECU. Every time you do, there's a chance something could go wrong. Your phone reboots, your battery's dead, something happens. You can brick your ECU. So you want to make sure that you know what you're doing. There's always a chance, I mean, hell, even a dealer could, you know, uh, accidentally brick an ECU, but at least it's the dealer's fault and they'll fix it, right? If you do it, you're on your own. <laughs> so that's where you want to make sure you do that. Um, so get your battery charged, plug it in, make sure everything's good, your phone's charged, and hit reprogram, and it'll walk you through the process. When it's done, it'll say turn off your, your key for five seconds, restart, it'll check the programming. On this one, I didn't have to do the reset of the throttle position like I did on the, uh, there's a recalibration that you do on the bobber. This one didn't need it. Um, and so that's pretty much it. That's how you flash to it. Um, there's some other things that if you wanted to, uh, let's see, if I go to map, there was parameters. I've already shown you that. Let's see. Let's go here. It was EP, uh, oh yeah, go to ECU, tests and adjustments. And if you wanted to, to turn on the radiator fan, check that, check the fuel pump. There's some other things here. You can check the SAI valve. You can't, you can't, unfortunately you can't uh, get rid of it. Um, but then if you wanted to do some actual adjustments, like recalibrate the throttle, bleed the ABS system, reset your service uh, interval, things like that, you can run those tasks. And that's not flashing the ECU. That's just communicating to it and telling it, hey, do this. So pretty straightforward. Make sure your battery's topped off. Um, you can only do it from Android. There is a Windows version of Tune ECU. doesn't work on this bike. you got to use Bluetooth and Android. That's the only way to talk to this ECU. But if you've got a tuner that knows Tune ECU and is familiar with tuning and using these trim tables, they can go in and map this bike for a full exhaust or whatever mod you do, push it to the bike. It will tell you that it's, um, you know, how many times it's been written. So I've written to it five times, but um, it still looks to the dealer like it's 31044. So unless they really knew to open up and look at individual tables and, and cross-reference and compare them, I don't know that the dealer would know that you've modified it so but again that's always the risk use at your own risk um, but that's it it's a very simple process so hopefully you guys find this interesting if you got any questions throw it in the comments